I grew the one that who are here. The bread of visitors. The peace of the Lord Jesus. A peace of the Lord that comes. He is coming. At any moment, the church will be empty. I don't know about everyone, but Jesus is going to take this church, which is faithful. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And we'll let the church to stand up with us in an instant so we can read the word of the Lord, which is in the book of Genesis, first book of the Bible. Genesis, Genesis 3. Genesis chapter 3. Hallelujah, Lord. Let's be on hand. We're going to read only the first four verses of uh, chapter 3 of the book of Genesis, from 1 to 4. The Bible says the following. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God ha has said, You shall not eat it nor shall you touch it, lest you, s you die. Now verse 4 says, Then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, here we are in your house. We cannot measure our joy, Lord, of being here in your altar, uh, washed by the blood, the blood of the Son Jesus. We are here in your presence, Lord. We are. We now can hear a word that you has, have revealed to us. Speak to us, to the heart of our church, and to those that are here. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. My beloved. The text that we read is a text that is very well known. I not even I venture even say it, not of the church, but every human being that ever heard about how God created the world, prepared it, prepared all things, made man, and then afterwards he said, "It's not good that man make. Let us make a helper to man." So then God made a woman for men. So there was a couple. Everything was all right. And then God gave a direction, an instruction, a revelation to that couple that they that should uh, perpetuate unto, unto our days. So the garden is here. Enjoy of it. Make good use of it. There are many trees, there are fruits, animals, Everything is there. But now there is a detail that I would like to call your attention to. There is a tree in the middle of the garden called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The fruit of this tree do not eat or, or even touch it. That's all. Everything else, you are. Do as you please. There's nothing better than that. We have many things to enjoy, many fruits to enjoy. Just because of one tree, that's alright. Everything was alright. The couple, Adam and Eve, they were walking in this, under this instruction. Everything was alright. Every day the Lord spoke with Adam. And at, on the evening, everything is alright. And Adam said, everything is alright. You eat well, and I, we ate well. All the fruits. We don't even have to work. Everything is fine. Everything is at our hands. You gave everything. Right? So then came a day. At the same moment, in 
when God came to speak with them. And when he went there, he didn't find the place where they always met. Because God has a meeting set up with us in his house. And many times he, he comes here, he doesn't find us. And Adam and Eve, they were not there. So then he said, Adam, where are you? And they answered, hey, Oh Lord, I'm here. He was hiding behind a tree. And then God said, Why are you hiding? Have you eaten of the fruit that I told you not to eat of? And he said, Yes, Lord. At the beginning I didn't, but you know that woman that you gave me? Oh, Lord of mercy. She made and me enter into a, a difficulty. You know how much I love her. She's a wonderful woman. And she says something to me, to me is an order. And so then when she, she ate, I ate as well. Humanity is like that. You you seen by osmosis. If somebody does, I'll do as well. So then I'll, I'm going to try. But I didn't come here tonight. I didn't come from Brazil tonight only to speak about the fruit of the tree that was there in the middle of the garden. God had sent me to do this. I was praying about this service. I was praying to the Lord and I asked, Lord, I need you uh, to know what you have for us, for this church. Every time I, I go to a church to preach, I do this. And the Lord has always been faithful to me. At that moment, the Lord gave me a word and I opened up and I praised the Lord. And I said, that's what I'm going to pre preach about. The couple was well, very well fed, everything was fine under the, orate, the instruction of the Lord, if they speaking with God. But one day, uh, of all of the animals that were created there, it seems like this animal, the serpent. The, the, I don't know how the serpent uh, came. And then the serpent said, hey, I spoke to the copper, is everything all right? And everything is in peace? Have you already eaten? And they answered, yes. We ate a lot of fruits, everything. No, no, not everything. There's a lot here. But there's a tree that the Lord told me that we should never eat because if we ate, we would die. And that animal called serpent said, no, that's not how it is. That's not how it is. You will not die if you eat of it. You will not die. And my brethren, the Lord told me to tell this church here, beginning with me, about the following. We are here listening to two voices. We are listening to two voices, two words. One coming from above and another coming from the bottom, coming from the earth. The word of the Lord against the word of the serpent. The woman had heard the voice of God. The couple had heard the voice of God. They had heard the revelation of God. Now there came another voice that was against to what they have heard. Because what God wanted and what He wants for man is that man live and live eternally. God wants to bring us back to Him. He's preparing us as a church to be with Him forever. And man man is trying to go astray from, from this purpose, trying to find his own path as going astray from the project of God. God has done everything, even sent his only begotten son he is sent to be here on earth, to be like man to suffer like man, eat like man sleep like man, wake up like man and die in the cross of Calvary all of it in order to rescue man it's the voice of God as God speak with his people, I sent my son. Above us said, God sent his only begotten son. In John 3.16, the love of God, the relation of the Lord Jesus Christ. He prepared everything. The project was so filled in the cross of Calvary. And, and now it's spread now through revelation, showing what's going to happen with the world and what is happening right now. The voice of God is being proclaimed at this moment. There are ears that can listen to it. There are the ears that can believe, the ones that who are believers, not of those that want religion and the best church that is preacher that speaks well, the deacons that cries and the, the one that brings spiritual gifts. No, 
the church is now listening to the voice of God through the revelation. Come up here and I'll show you what is going to happen. Everything is going to happen and everything is happening. The voice of God is echoing. It's the one that comes from above. The one that speaks with, with us when they seek revelation in fellowship, in prayer, in obedience in the disposition of listening to him the voice of God comes from heaven but there is a voice that is sounding right now that is sounding right now this voice comes from below because it is the result of the flesh the flesh the desires of the flesh you know why because the inclination of the flesh is death but the inclination of the spirit is eternal life the soul wants to go back to God and the flesh wants to go back to the ground where it came from and at this moment the Lord asked me to ask a question to the church of Pompano Beach to me to you to all the pastors deacons ushers uh, every servant you hear there's a voice here what is the voice that you're listening to what is the voice that you're listening to there are two voices when the Lord reveals what he wants and you believe and you answer it and you accept it then you you are listening to the voice that comes from above but when you say I don't care about it I don't want to know about this I don't want revelation who brought the revelation who had the dream no no I don't accept it this is the voice that comes from the ground the voice is bringing you is dragging you back to the bottom to the ground trying to suffocate you and remove him from the blessing of eternal life that's the voice that came from the bottom see my brethren we have here tonight a group of people there are here people that know the Lord Jesus they have heard his voice but the Lord has revealed to us and there is tonight here a woman that knows the word that is speaking with the Lord Jesus has sang has even prayed about it but she has in her heart murmurings complaints and even don't accept what the Lord is revealing and this is bringing her harm infirmity uh, sickness so that's why every day she asks for prayer you ask uh, uh, the woman that is always asking for prayer every service why is that the Lord has shown that she's listening to other voices. She's not listening to the voice of the Lord. She's listening to other voice. The voice of the ones that the voice that drags you to the to death and that brings depression. That's the voice that comes from the bottom. But tonight the Lord is saying, listen to my voice. Hear what I'm going to speak with you tonight. There's a voice that is sounding. Glory to God. There's a light is shining in the voice of the Lord Jesus speaking to his people to which he sac sacrificed himself in the Christ of Calvary. And the question I'm not asking, but the Lord is asking to us tonight, what is the voice that you are listening to? There are two voices, one that's coming from above and the one that is coming from below. What is the voice that you're listening to? The Lord is speaking to us. The, the Lord also told us there is a uh, young woman that is in great difficulty. Why is this? Why you're going through this struggle? Because surely she is not listening to the voice that comes from above. Pay attention what the enemy does. He did this with Adam and Eve, and is doing this today with us, with humanity today. Not with the people that believe, but. For the people that do know in what believe the relation that we have that faithful church has is the following walk in revelation and you will live forever you will never die okay those who have christ never died but they come from the uh, earthly death into eternal life but the enemy represented by the serpent who is here in this church he's saying what what are you talking about this is just conversations this is a story they come up with this is story this to fill the church you know don't worry about this and the world is not going to end 
this story about revelation, the apocalypse. Don't worry about. It. Don't don't be sad with this. This is the voice of the serpent. It's the voice of the enemy. The voice of evil that wants to destroy you and remove you from the presence of the Lord. I um, ask you once again, by from the order of the Lord, which voice you are listening to. Think seriously about it. Which is the voice that you're listening to? Are you listening to a voice of something they speak on the church? You're uh, listening to the voice of people that complain, they murmur, they speak of the, the deacons, the pastor. It doesn't matter who we are. If, if we are um, usher deacons, we are servants of the Lord, called to do His work. Are you listening to the voice that comes from the bottom? You're listening from. Uh, to the voice of the brother that doesn't want to have anything to do with the kingdom of God if you are surely you will die that's what the Lord is saying dying here is to lose salvation to lose eternal life being away from the Lord away from the peace you enter to live with those that are going to and to enjoy if you can call it enjoy to the sound of all the trumpets, oh, 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 only sadness, only bitterness, bitterness, only sadness. Because at this moment, when the three trumpets sounded, the trumpet of the rapture has already sounded, the church has already gone up, the, the word of the Lord has gone away, the spirit has left the world. And then they run to this place, they will come here racing what is this God that spoke to us no he's no longer talking because this hour is the hour for you to listen to the voice of the one I want to give you life uh, I want to give you eternal life walk in my revelation do what what I determine and you surely leave let us praise the name of the Lord hallelujah let's be the name of the Lord Let's praise the name of the Lord.
just what the Lord has done for us. He's here to bless us. We don't live off of religion. We're not here because of the name Maranatha or because of the Church of Maranatha. We are here because we're waiting for Jesus. He will come back. He will come back. He will, he will take a church to be with him. Don't think, my brethren, uh, the church of the Lord Jesus is going to take is the church of Pompano Beach. Don't think about this, please. Don't think that. Oh, church of Holland. No, don't think that. Don't think that. Jesus is going to come to take the faithful church. The church uh, respects the sacrifice of Jesus. The vo voice is sounding. God is speaking. The enemy is also speaking. Which voice are you going to listen to? Oh, you complain because of this or because of that. The trial is very difficult. And then you go to the church uh, for the book of Lamentations. Why? Why? Why is uh, the living men complain about? Is in the book of Lamentation Jeremiah. If each man complains about his own sin, are you here for what reason? Because of Pastor Ronildo? Because of Deacon Marcus? Why are you here? Because there's a group here that play and sing. Is that the reason why you're here? Because if you are here for this reason then you're listening to the voice that comes from the bottom but if you're here to go up with Jesus then you're listening to the voice that comes above let us stand up glory to God glory to, the, glory to your name Lord. praise the name of the Lord this church is not forbidden to give glory to God hallelujah is God glory to our God holy is your name oh hallelujah Oh God, our heart is happy because tonight you have brought us to hear your voice, the voice that saves, that cures, that delivers, that operates miracles and wonders. The voice is calling a church to be and live forever with, with the author of this voice. We are here for this reason, Father. We praise the Lord for your word, for the revelation, for the direction, for the awakening, because of the blessing of this woman that is here and also this young woman that is here. We know that you spoke to their hearts. Receive, therefore, our gratitude, our praise, and our adoration. In the name of Jesus, amen. Your name we say, the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and, and the ten, love and intended consolation of the Holy Spirit be with us, with your people, and the people that hear the voice that come from above, now and forever. Amen. Church may be seated. I will ask the church to remain in their seats, please. Nobody leaves. If possible, if you have any possibility to be in prayer at this moment, you know why? Because the uh, deacons and ushers here, they are going to give an assistance to those that are visiting. They are going to pray. And while they are praying, the Holy Spirit will be acting, and the Spirit acts in the fellowship of the church and not in the conversation of the church. You understand this? So the church will be in fellowship. The children are going to leave. The instruments are going to be playing softly. While the Holy Spirit will be operating in each assistance. But before the assistant, I want to invite to inform the church that tomorrow, uh, 19th, the Lord has given a revelation to the whole church and the entire world. The church that hears his voice, it will be tomorrow, a special early dawn tomorrow for every servant of the Lord this morning. Tomorrow at 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning, we're going to be here praising the name of the Lord. There will be as well. Pay attention, my brethren. According to the revelation of the Lord, there will be a fasting. You can choose the one from midnight until 9 o'clock in the morning or tomorrow from 5 in the afternoon until the end of the service. Did you understand, my brethren? Let's praise the name of the Lord. Do Lord also reveal 
The church will be open at six o'clock in the morning. The Lord Jesus will be here waiting for you. Glory to God. The Lord also revealed there is going to be a baptism here in this church. There will be a baptism. The brethren are going to give their names. Give your names. Give to Pastor Renew. Give a name. Pastor want to uh, be baptized. You receive the instruction for the baptism. And this Wednesday, there will be a class for uh, for the guitar playing. It's going to be this Wednesday. When will be the class? Okay. There will be a meeting for those that want to learn how to play guitar. Not to make money. To learn how to play praise the Lord. It's not f to make money. If you... There's a lot of people praising the Lord, right? The Lord wants your praise. If I was not so young, I would want to learn guitar. But I'm so young, I don't want to play guitar yet. So you need to learn how to play the guitar in order to praise the name of the Lord. Not to make a, uh, make a, a band and go out there playing. Brother Ronaldo is going to receive the name and say they want to learn how to play the guitar. So the archers and deacons will be at the disposal of the church. Amen. The church in fellowship, please. Please, in fellowship, in prayer. Amen. Glory to God. Praise here. Sing it, playing the song. And the Lord operating each heart and each assistance. Glory to God. If you need, have a necessity of a prayer, please don't leave this place. We're going to be here to pray for you. Don't look to who is praying. Look to Jesus who gives the blessings. Amen. Come to God.